This is the HMB Intra Cage with Thigpen on the left, and then Herbert just coming up to him. I'm gonna be releasing these guys soon. So hopefully it's all gonna go quite quickly and well and they're gonna drink lots. But we will have to give you an update. Thigpen has got some nice purple arms and then Herbert is just purple on his side and his back leg. Just an easy way to tell these guys apart. And then we've got Mum, Skylar and Harmony. Babies came in at the beginning of January and they've been with mums most a month, I'd say. Um, and they're over three months old, so they get to be released today with Fudge and Mara as well. Thigpen's getting a nice, nice groom off of Harmony. All of the mums in here are first time. Uh, it's the uh, Fudge and Mara were the first time that we've ever had babies in H&B. And it's really great that we've got so many good mums to choose from. Having a little play. Yeah, I wasn't either, I don't know. These are the last moments for her birth, Thigpen, Skylar and Harmony in the intro cage. It's the big day of the release. So everything's getting checked around uh, the H&B enclosure just to make sure the feeding cages are working properly, that they can put milk in them. So it's quite a process beforehand. Uh, just to check everything's working properly before the little ones go out. Here Herbert is in the feeding cage and then Thigpen is just going to try and join him. Um, Harmony has just pulled him away though. Herbert is a hungry boy. These babies are going to be released into troop soon with Fudge and Mara. It's possibly Tandy holding up the whole uh, introduction at the moment. We're just waiting for Harmony to come down with Thick Pen uh, so she can uh, get ready to take him out and join all of the others outside. Um, we just got to wait for this one uh, to move away, but uh, sometimes they just get caught with the food that's in there and uh, that just makes them want to come and join the others inside. Not that they really want to stay in there at all, but there we have them. So uh, let's see how this is going to go. Maybe you could say Victoria and... Uh, oh, ready? Yeah, ready. I want you to take Ben out. Harmony and Thick Ben. 
are now in H and D. She's so calm. I'm not too sure what's going through little Herbert's mind in this instant. Just staring at his buddy oh. disappearing with the mom. Uh, sort of looking back at his mom and say, hey, what about me? When are we going? So uh, hopefully it's not going to be too long before we can rejoin his buddy. Well, there we go. A little bit of a crazy dash. Uh, to the nearest shelter and uh, also a good lookout point just to see what's going on so mom's playing it safe having a look where the other monkeys are and uh, in the safety of a tree Harmony and Thickpen just joined H&B troop Priscilla is lip smacking Thickpen Grooming Skylar, sorry, the harmony. What are you making? Uh, today we're making spaghetti bolognese. So on this side we've got the uh, soya mince one and then on this side we've got the, the lentil version. That's for the soya gluten free people. So that's their stuff, yeah. Amazing. Lauren Herbert ready to go out. As far as I know, this is also a first time adoption for Skylar. So, this is her first little uh, orphan that she's basically taking with her. Um, so, you can pretty much compare it to a, a first time mom. She's going to covet this little baby, she's not going to want anybody else. Uh, to sort of take it away from her and uh, so that's also a reason she's being very very careful where she goes and what she does and it'll be good to observe her behavior oh. okay you follow her oh So it's Caleb with Herbert on our belly. The particularity of Skylar is uh, she's holding her tail up. Little Herbert, they're not quite following protocol, so Mom has to take the papaya away from him but you can see he's pretty persistent he also wants his piece 
Um, he's hungry. He loves his papaya. Um, so he's quite being a, a little bit more persistent than normal there. Normally he'd get a little bit uh, uh, of a... Um, he'll be put in his place actually for doing that, which I'm surprised she hasn't done it. But I think it being her first time often, you know, when you have your first kid, you're a lot more careful and cautious. And it's also, I think, a reason why she's staying away from most of the other troop members because she's not very high ranking and uh, there is a good chance that others could take a little one away from her. Just look at him go there. He really wants to be with mom. So a nice little couple here. But uh, as you said, you can just watch her behavior, how well cautious she is. Well, Skyla being uh, very wary and cautious of other monkeys coming around. Um, even little Herbert doesn't want to lose his mom, so he's not letting her go very far away, uh, ready to jump into her arms. But uh, you can just see the difference between a slightly more low-ranking female and also somebody that hasn't really uh, brought up uh, a little orphan before. So very, very possessive and uh, very worried that a higher-ranking female is going to come and... Um, take the little baby from her so uh, she's very very wary well you can try and guess who that little one was uh, that was released earlier in the troop uh, before uh, Herbert and Thinkpen just coming out to have a look and seeing how things are going with them so it's quite nice that the little orphans do sort of recognize each other and come around for a little bit of a play and scuffle but as you can see mom very worried just look at her reaction there turning her back uh, she's also probably lip smacking a bit which we can't really hear so well from here but uh, she's not prepared um, to give her little one up at all at this stage Well, it looks like little Herbert settled in nicely. He's found the food. Mom's close by. Um, they're all going through some nice eats there. Looks like some nice butternut and things like this. They really enjoy uh, the soft pips that they find inside there. Of course, most of the nice things like the bananas would have been gone. But uh, there's still some soft fruits like the pawpaw or papaya um, that you saw him eating earlier on. Well, Lux is grooming some other female. I'm not too sure he's who she is from the side profile, but watch little Fudge here. I don't know what he actually sees. There seems to be some kind of insect or something <laughs> that he's actually spotted. Um, that's disturbing him. It could even be a scorpion because sometimes, you know, they like to try and strike <laughs> and things like that. But it's just so amazing. Even mom's having a look and say, what the heck have you seen? This is Harmony carrying a thick pin off into the bushes. And uh, here we have Herbert being carried by Skylar while the other guys are all running around. So these ones, they pretty much attached to their moms now, which is great. And uh, being looked after, so that's the important part. And they seem to have formed the right kind of bonds. And not too scared of the males. The males coming around and uh, also eating in front of them. So pretty interested in them. But I think we've got a good combination here of these little ones. Uh, and their moms and I think things should go on a lot better this is against uh, Herbert and Skylar 
uh, eating that famous uh, corn on the cob. Well, this is always one of those uh, great moments uh, after the release is just watching <laughs> the little ones having so much fun and basically being out there reunited together because you must know some of these little ones started with each other, were separated for a while as we do the introductions and now all of them have come back together um, as this little one big happy family. And, uh, you know, sometimes just being there and observing them, spending the day and watching their little antics and how they get on, how they play with each other and the little, little bonds these guys actually make with each other um, is truly something special and, uh, you know, something that just stays with you forever. It's like, as I keep saying to people, this is the reward um, of the whole process is basically having these little ones back out there, back with their family, behaving like little monkeys again. They're not in captivity as such. Uh, they're living a little free life as they can, safe, and uh, that is very, very important, and uh, very, very important for us, just to have a look what's going on, and uh, that's all thanks to this uh, amazing uh, feeding cage that makes it possible to get these little guys to foster moms as soon as possible, create that bond, and get them to be looked after like proper little monkeys. Um, the humanization process is very, very small. Uh, which is great and they soon become monkeys very very quickly so these little ones would actually start becoming scared of people at a very young age which is great and it makes the process or the progress for them uh, later on in life uh, a lot easier and a lot better so uh, yeah just spending a little bit of time here watching them watching them get up to their antics um, nothing better in the world pen with Fudge and Mara in h &B. Well, yeah, we have the whole uh, family playing together, which is great. Harmony and Hocus are we Big Ben and Herbert. Big Ben is on Harmony's belly. And Hocus is the alpha female, she's grooming Herbert. And now Harmony. Fudge is here in front. Well, that's me, it's not Hocus. Hocus daughter. A very high ranked female. <laughs> there we can see Thick Pen.
Mufasa. <coughs> Mufasa wants to be groomed. Herbert and uh, Skylar are in the troop. Mufasa is an old boy that is in an intro cage and he will be the first one to be integrated when the baby season finish, when all the babies are in troop. You can see Skylar chastising little uh, Herbert every now and again. I'm not too sure what he's up to, but at least they're getting on nicely with Mufasa, which is a great thing because, uh, as I think, he will be integrated next after this baby season and basically to get him out uh, into the enclosure with the others. So it's nice to see he's interacting with them uh, so nicely at the moment. This is Hocus, the alpha female with Herbert. Victoria H and B sunning herself on a cold day. She's getting on in years now. She must be more than I think she's more than eighteen years. Possibly older. Catching a fly. Mara is coming, Herbert, and the last baby, Sigpen. He's just behind Mufasa that wants a groom. Well, thank you for joining in this episode. Uh, these are the final ones that we're getting out. We're just going to see Felix and Boogie still. Uh, and then, of course, we'll go on to some of the other monkeys and the work that we do at the foundation. But these are the little final ones, the uh, end of the road, for getting all these little guys out, back into the enclosures, joining moms again. Um, so it's really a, a wonderful time of celebration for us all at the foundation. Finally seeing all the little ones that have come in, gone out, got moms and getting ready for the next season. Hope you enjoyed this one.